And will today's executive order have any impact on local law enforcement? There are mixed reactions coming in tonight. We spoke with the head of the Corpus Christi Police Officers Association who says there is always room for improvement. These reforms that are being looked at, we're already doing them. Scott Leiden says most of the issues in the ex executive order announced today have already been in place within the Corpus Christi Police Department. Leiden points out the call for department's meeting certification standards have been in place at the local and state level for years. So have the rules of engagement relevant to the use of the controversial chokeholds? We're told those haven't been used locally since the 80s. Now, where there has been a much needed change is in the area of mental health assistance. We have training, but we're not medical professionals to deal with this, and the same with addiction at the same time. Our TV3 political expert, Dr. Bill Chris, says a presidential executive order carries little weight here, actually, adding that it's up to states and local municipalities to regulate their police departments. The executive order doesn't require police departments anywhere in the country to do anything different than what they're doing. Um, and, and because of that, it's just window dressing. I mean, it, it is a step in the right direction because what it does is it creates a national database uh, that local police departments are supposed to report into. The national database would be used to keep track of police officers who have complaints of use of excessive force.